so now let's see one more i'm here in the report let's scroll down here let's find out for example this one ftp brute force login report let's open up and if you will scroll down here you will see the testing results the same was possible to log in with the following credential username password and use as you can see is the same okay it's using the same and the solution is to change the password as soon as possible all right let's try to log in to ftp protocol to see if in, in the fact the password is the same sudo we just need to type this sudo ftp and the host and hit enter okay it's asking for the password let's type as you see the password is the same okay msf admin the username and the password msf admin all right as you can see login successful i was able to access ftp in the remote computer because they are using the this this password right here this is how you can access ftp as well remotely using this code of course in some targets the password may not be this one for sure but this is how you access this protocol but here what i wanted to show you is that from this scanner here we were able to detect to see that even the ftp protocol was using this password here all right is using this password and the solution is to change okay let me show you something else here we have ftp brute force but if you scroll down for the medium vulnerabilities here you will see this anonymous ftp let me log in you will see here anonymous anonymous ftp login report what does it mean let's open up and you will see here that it was possible to log into the remote ftp server with the following anonymous account what happens here is normally when you have the ftp protocol enabled by default by default you will find is like guest in windows for example windows system we have the guest account there so for ftp we have anonymous account this account is enabled and the solution for this as you can see if you do not want to share files you should disable anonymous login the ftp protocol is ftp is a short name for file transfer protocol It's because of this protocol that we are able to share files between the client and the server and here the account anonymous is enabled what we need to do we need to disable this how we do that we can do from this machine or we can go directly to metasploit okay let's go directly to metasploit let's go to metasploit table what do you need to do you need to use any editor you want to do this i will use nano to change to do, to do this change you need to type here sudo i will use nano slash etc slash and you need to provide this v sf you can click tab and we need to work with this file here and hit enter it will open up this document here this configuration file and we need to scroll down until you find this this line here anonymous enable okay and what we need to do we just need to erase this and type here no and after that just click ctrl o to write out ctrl o and hit enter and you can click ctrl x now the last step you can either restart the ftp service or restart the metasploit table to force the update of the file we just modified this is the the other thing i wanted to show you that we can do from this that's all see you in next lesson